Hi, welcome to Inside HPV Therapy. My name is Uze. So today we're going to be talking about um, interphalangeal joint uh, capsulitis, which is that joint there, and also uh, synovitis. It's always important to understand the anatomy. Okay, so I'm just going to run you through the anatomy and draw and, and draw it on for you, so you can see okay what's going on. Because a picture always tells a thousand words. Okay, so you have a bone. Okay, which forms okay part of the joint. You need two bones generally to form. A joint okay so I'm just going to draw the two phalangeal bones on okay and then that's the joint in the center now in the middle okay we have something called articular cartilage I'm going to draw that in in green okay there's your articular cartilage okay and you see that at the ends of each bone okay now surrounding each joint is something called a joint capsule okay and it's like a bag of tissue that essentially okay goes over the top of the joint and basically seals it in Okay, that can become problematic, okay, and that can sometimes cause a what we call a capsule litus, okay, or a capsular restriction where the capsule becomes okay, all, all tight and gummed up. Okay. We also have a, a smaller capsule called the synovitus, okay, and that's like a capsule within the capsule. Okay. Within okay, the the synovium rather rather than synovitis okay that is that has all of the synovial fluid which is located in there okay and that helps to nourish the joint okay and to protect the joint from damage okay so what so you can see what happens okay when you're crimping okay and doing things like such that so you can see how the capsule on the bottom gets all squashed together the the cartilage gets squashed together as well okay and you can see how that might cause problems if you're doing that repetitively okay um, and doing that with significant load so it's really important to protect these joints okay and one more structure just to add in okay are your ligaments okay your ligaments okay attach bone to bone so your ligaments go from there all the way across like so if you damage a ligament okay then by virtue of that damage okay the ligament the joint becomes unstable okay so you can see the ligaments are quite lax in that position then they're all nice and tight and stretched out in that position okay so let's talk about synovitis synovitis is is, is quite a common injury okay sina means um synovium okay which is this part here okay and itis means obviously inflammation Okay, you can have a uh, synovitis, okay, if you um, subject your joint, okay, to uh, significant load and trauma. Okay, if you do have a synovitis, it's very important to respect it, okay, and to lay off the training, okay, and the loading as quickly as possible, and to go through the normal standard procedure, which is rest, ice, elevation, compression, okay, and so on. Okay, if we talk about the capsulitis, so or the capsular restriction, which is this area here, okay, if the problem if you're if you constantly load the joint okay by crimping and so on and so forth okay um, then you can you can develop what we call a capsular restriction okay and it's where the capsule becomes really really tight okay and it normally gets stuck in a flex position or it's just slightly off flexion okay in another video I'll deal with um, how to deal with that but essentially it's really important if you injure if you injure this joint or this joint or this joint for that matter it's very important that you take it seriously and you lay off from climbing okay at least for a week or two okay whilst you let things settle down if you let it settle down things will get better if you don't let it settle down what will settle down what will happen is the articular surfaces okay which is the green bits here and here okay they will start to become degenerate okay and they will start to wear down and that's when you'll start to have chronic long long-term problems equally so as well okay so will the synovium the synovium okay and the capsule will just react okay to that problem okay and to the increased loading and the inflammatory response that is occurring so I hope that's been useful okay so this video was all about okay um ip capsular restrictions okay or capsulitis and also um synovitis okay and problems that affect okay the finger joints okay so hope you're looking forward to uh, part two which will which will talk about prevention okay and treatment of uh, finger injuries okay bye for now